This video here is for the All Win 2100 or 21 AccuTherm AW810M. It is computer controlled with the monitor here. Then you have the PC, all ran by keyboard and mouse. Then you have the system itself with an email array here your actual temperature, your lamp power, and your main on and off. Over here you have your, your door to open up the chamber. I have a wafer in there right now. And you can see it slides all the way out. Push it in, lock the door handle in. Here's the side of it. Let me go to the other side. And then you have the back. In the back back here, you have your two water lines here. You have a compressed dry air here to help cool the chamber. Up here is your controller RS-232 hookup. You got your main power right here. Uh, a couple of power cords to hook up your computer to. I'm using a, a power strip at the moment. You got your main breaker right here. It is a 100 amp breaker. Now underneath here is you have your gas, your four gas hookups. And I will show that in a separate video of them working. But for right now, we're just going to use, I'm going to show the lamp part in here. So, to work this, I'm going to just click on over here. I'm going to put you in the diagnostics. Now, let me go through the channels, the screen right here. First off is you have your recipe, then you have your process for engineers, process for production, you got your gems, calibration, and then down here, on the lower left, you have your exit out of the system, your information about your logons, you have your online help and manual, then you got your diagnostics and maintenance. The diagnostics, what we're going to go on right now, I'm going to show you how you can manually run the system. So on the left hand side is you basically you have your, your mass flow controllers. This has four of them and it's all four of these right here. These two other ones, they, they don't exist. Then you, you would do your set points. Like I said, I will go through that on the second part of the video. But for right now, it's, uh, this right now, I'm going to go on the right hand side and we are going to turn on the lamps. So I'm just going to use the slide right here and we'll just go right up to 10% as you can see it's indicated right here right here on this part and I'm going to turn on the lamp the bulb right here so there it is you can see the lamps are lit right here you can't really see anything down here yet but you will see that your indicator here is starting to go up which indicates 170 degrees which is pretty close to your thermocoupler TC right there I'm going to ramp this up a couple more times to 20%. You do see once you light it up more that this indicator here does light, light up and show the, uh, the uh, lamps inside. That's what gets, gives it the uh, LED. And if you can see right in here, sometimes you can see the lamp kind of bulbs lit up in there. So right now we're at like 520 degrees and we're still going up and you can see it's about the same thing, 585 and 590, it's still going up. We're just going to let it stabilize so you can see where it's at. Now the max temp of this is 800 degrees. 
And right, right now we're at tw running at 20% of the lamp intensity. So we're about 700. I'm gonna go ahead and if you click on the, the, the green arrows right here, you're gonna see that the intensity percentage only go up by a half a percent. So I'm just gonna go bring it up to 21%. And you can see it's at 714. I'll bring it up to, try to get it to around 750. Now you can see that's around 737, 735, pretty close. Five degrees. Other things on here, are, of course, your air is coming in. You got your water, and you got your AC, AC power. You got your fan indicator. So it's right around 753, 753. That's about right where it is, okay? And now I'm gonna shut it off. All you gotta do is just turn off the light bulb there. And if, if you can see, I, I'll even open the door and you can see that the indicator up there is showing you that I opened the door. And that's pretty much the end of the test on the lamp part. The second part will be of me showing you with the uh, flow meters. I just don't have anything hooked up to at the moment. And so I'm using most of the air to cool the chamber. All right, the second part of this test we're going to do is check out the uh, MF. So I'm going right up to the top right here and I'm just going to turn this on and start. You can see I got the set point at 5 right now and you can see the feedback right now is at 5. I will go ahead and do the second one. I have it set at 4. You can start to see back. Gives it a little. You got to take. Give it a little second, and it'll start adjusting with, by the pressure. And now you can see it's coming into four right now. We'll go to the third one. Got to set up at two. The last one, I'll have it set up at, up. I can't do that because it's certain gas you can't mix. So I'm going to turn this second one off and I'll put the last one on. I got it set up at three and you can see it's coming out at three. And that is the end of the gas test. And it shows you that everything is working properly. Basically you can go off exit here. I can just show you a couple of things what the recipe looks like. There's a whole bunch of recipes in here. You can go ahead and edit them. There's a process page for you. There it is. And you can see it's got a lot of files.
to go ahead and you can uh, swap things around if I remember correctly. It tells you your lot, your data IDs, and your recipe files. Then you got your process. Almost basically the same thing. The calibration. You can go into individual things and calibrate them. They, they have been calibrated. We calibrated them here before we sent it before I sent the video out. And online help tells you how to operate everything. You saw the diagnostics and then you got the maintenance and that's basically all the setups. The gas setups, the password, the level and you can do like manual control. I can go ahead and go right up to 30 percent and you'll see that everything's spiking up over here and here's your your temperature is the dark purple And the red right here is your set, actual set point set at 30. So these would be in increments of 10 each one of these lines. So that's 10, 20, 30. And of course it went in the over temp because it's past 800 degrees. So if I did 30% again and just knocked it down, See now I got it around 12 and you can see that this is all coming down and there's your actual temperature. And that is the end of the test.